Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Daniel here with another video. We're continuing our look at the A to Z aircraft of the Second World War. So we've covered A and B. It is now time to look at C. And C is for Condor, or more specifically, the Buckwolf FW200 Condor. The Focke-Wulf FW200 Condor was a German all-metal four-engined monoplane originally developed by Focke-Wulf as a long-range airliner. The FW200 resulted from a proposal by Kurt Tank of Focke-Wulf to Dr. Rudolf Strussel of Deutsche Lufthansa to develop a land plane to carry passengers across the Atlantic Ocean to the United States. At the time, it was an unusual concept because airliners used seaplanes on long overwater routes. To fly long distances economically, the FW200 was designed to cruise at an altitude of over 9,800 feet, as high as possible without a pressurised cabin. Existing airliners, by contrast, were designed to cruise at altitudes below 4,900 feet. The first prototype, designated the FW200 V1, made its maiden flight just over one year of development on the 27th of July 1937, with Kurt Tank at the controls. It was an all-metal four-engine monoplane powered by four American 652-kilowatt, 875-horsepower Pratt & Whitney Hornet radial engines and intended to carry 26 passengers in two cabins for up to 1,900 miles. Two further prototypes were powered by German 720-horsepower BMW 132G1 radial engines. The Japanese Navy requested a military version of the FW200 for search and patrol duties, leading Tank to design the FW200 V10 with military equipment. This version of the Focke-Wulf FW200 was held in Germany because war had broken out in Europe by that time. This aircraft became the basis for all later military models of the Condor used by the Luftwaffe. The Luftwaffe initially used the aircraft to support the Kriegsmarine, making great loops out across the North Sea and, following the fall of France, the Atlantic Ocean. The aircraft was used for maritime patrols and reconnaissance, searching for Allied convoys and warships that could be reported for targeting by U-boats. The Condor could also carry a 2,200-pound bomb load or naval mines to use against shipping, and it was claimed that from June 1940 until February 1941, Condor sank 331,122 tonnes of shipping, despite a rather crude bomb site. The attacks were carried out at an extremely low altitude in order to bracket the target ship with three bombs. This almost guaranteed a hit. Indeed, Prime Minister Winston Churchill called the Condor the scourge of the Atlantic during the Battle of the Atlantic due to its contribution to the heavy Allied shipping losses. Following the introduction of what would become the Luftwaffe's primary seaborne maritime patrol aircraft, the Blom and Voss BV-138C flying boat in March 1941, the Condor crews were instructed to stop attacking shipping and to avoid all combat in order to preserve their numbers. In August 1941, the first Condor was shot down by a CAM ship launched Hawker Hurricane. The arrival of the Grumman F4F Wildcat, known in British service as the Martlet, operating from the Royal Navy's new escort carriers, posed a serious threat to the Condor. Six Martlets, operated by the Royal Navy from the escort carrier HMS Audacity, shot down a total of seven Condors whilst escorting three convoys during her short career during the final months of 1941. On the 14th of August 1942, an FW200C3, was the first German aircraft to be destroyed by pilots of the United States Army Air Force after it was attacked by a Curtis P-40 Warhawk and a Lockheed P-38 Lightning over Iceland. 
The Condor was also used as a transport aircraft, notably flying supplies into Stalingrad in 1942. From late 1943, the Condor came to be used solely for transport. For reconnaissance, it was replaced by the Junkers JU-290, and even some examples of the Henkel HE-177 bomber, serving with Kampfgeschwader 40. With the Allied advance into France, maritime reconnaissance by the Luftwaffe became impossible as the Atlantic coastal bases were captured. Production of the Condor ended in 1944, with a total of 276 aircraft having been produced. Several damaged Condors landed in Spain during the war. In the beginning, they were repaired and returned to their bases in France. Following Operation Torch, the Allied invasion of French North Africa, the Spanish government interned four aircraft that arrived, although their crews were still allowed to return to Germany. Since the aircraft could not be used, they were sold by Germany to Spain. One of the three flyable aircraft was then operated by the Spanish Air Force, while the others were cannibalised for spares. Because of the damage and lack of spares, and for political reasons, the Condors were grounded and scrapped around 1950. Only one complete reconstructed Condor exists today, an aircraft that ditched in February 1942 and sank to a depth of 197 feet. This aircraft was raised from Trondheim's Fjord in Norway on the 26th of May 1999. Although the airframe disintegrated while being lowered onto a recovery platform, the remains were transported to Airbus Bremen and spent 22 years being rebuilt. The aircraft was finished in June 2021, then dismantled and transported to the former Berlin Tempelhof Airport for final assembly as an exhibit. Many thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more updates, like and share. You can also help to support the channel at Patreon. Details are in the description box below.